Right, I've got an excellent new tool to show you today, which I've got for my um, drill press or my bench drill. It's this three inch Viva milling vise. It comes in this box here, well packaged and protected. Um, it's called the three inch Aculock machine vise, model number QM1680. And when I saw it online, I was amazed at the low price that it's being sold for. And when I got it through the post, I was totally amazed with the quality. So the vise is made of good quality cast iron and it's been well ground and everything. I've um, put a ruler across the flats and checked it for um, flatness on the um, 360 degree um, base as well and it's dead accurate and it weighs 6.6 .6 kg so it's quite a heavy vice um, but many of you will know that I've made some modifications to my um, bench drill and I'll show you that later so it can actually take the weight of this vice plus I've also made an adapter for my bench drill so that I can actually securely bolt this to the um, table so the vice looks like this on the underside And one of the things that I really like about it is the open hole here at the front so that you can actually stick a hoover pipe in this one and suck out all the swarf. And I really like the way they put a button oiler on the back end here. Plus all the different models of this Viva Vice or all the different sizes are well known for the quality and size of the lead screw. So now I'll just take the vice off the base. This is a 17 millimeter spanner for these nuts here. And that's what it looks like on the underside there. The 360 degree divisions are well engraved and marked clearly and it's nice and smooth to rotate and it locks up easily. Another feature that I like about this vise is that it's been drilled and tapped both ends here so you can take the jaws off and put them on the sides here or the ends here plus it has a nicely hinged detachable handle I've made a modification to this one in that I've drilled and tapped it with a six millimeter um, thread and put a grub screw in the side here so that it comes through on one of the flats and then I can actually put it on there and lock it on but if I want to I can just undo that and take it off at any time and the only other thing that I've done to the vise is to just stone the edges a bit to make them a little bit more smooth they felt a little sharp to me but um, that's not bad just put a stone over those and smooth them off and the only other thing that I didn't like is that it didn't have the Viva label on it. So I used my labeling machine and made one up. And just before I go out into the workshop and show you on the um, bench drill, I'd just like to say that this is a very nice smooth operation on the um, slides. And the only thing that you've got to watch with this um, Vice is that the lead screw block is in the center part here a bit so when you're drilling you must be careful that you don't actually drill into that block and you can see that block a bit better when I hold it up like that So now I'll go out into the workshop and show you this one on my bench drill. So 
so to support the weight I use this one here well I use this one anyway to um, hold this one when I'm drilling I've made a disc up here which fits under the drilling table and I use this all the time whatever drilling operation I'm doing I bring this one up under the table to make it nice and secure and it won't flex at all when I'm drilling. So I've simply put a thread in there, an 8mm thread and a stainless steel allen screw up through the centre there in the gap with a couple of washers to hold that on. And that one actually fits nicely under the table keeping it nice and square. And if I want to bolt the Viva Vice to the drilling table here, it's too wide to actually um, bolt into the location slots here. So what I've done is made up this plate here. It's a 10 millimeter plate and I've drilled and tapped it for 10 millimeter threaded studs. Put those in and locked them on the underside there with a nut. This one simply slides under there like that and then I can bring the jack up to hold it and then I can put the Viva Vice on the table and it'll completely support that weight. Plus I can lower the jack slightly, just a quarter of a turn there and then I can move the vise around like that by sliding it on the table. And when it's locked up on the table, I can loosen these nuts here for the rotation. And then use the jack to adjust the height. And if you've watched any of my videos about this um, bench drill, you'll know that I extended the column here to give myself extra room when drilling. So it's an excellent piece of kit and great if you're using it on a bench drill for batch work. I'm very pleased with that and look forward to using it.